Now, 13 ABC First Alert Weather with meteorologist Dan Smith. All showers and even a few rumbles of thunder are most likely from about 5 to 11 o'clock this evening. That does top our forecast headlines here. A few rumbles could still carry over into tomorrow morning as well. A little bit less likely as we're seeing this now, but more rain and wind on tap for your Saturday and all over again for Monday. Saturday, though, that one is looking especially windy. We'll break that down in a couple of minutes here. You can see the look outside, uh, the view from our tower here at the corner of Door and Richards, and it's looking a little bit misty. Can't even see the uh, towers in the distance here. Downtown Toledo to be specific, but 46 degrees right now at Toledo Express. Winds south six miles an hour, not too shabby there. In fact, uh, even just getting into my car about midnight last night, uh, coming back from the late shift, at the station, you go, you know what? This actually feels really nice out right now. And then we started to get some of the clouds back in here. As advertised, not much more than a few hundreds of an inch. We woke up to a little bit of wet pavement out there, but you can see satellite and radar moving through east of I-75. Some of the little green splotches here and there. Extra low volley uh, going on through even uh, towards the Lake Erie Islands within the last hour or so. Then we zoom this out and you might get the sense a lot of this activity is going to duck well south of us. And you'd be right, but I would still bank on this starting to fill in the image. You can even see it sort of back building already here towards uh, north central Illinois to be specific. That is what's going to be chugging directly on west to east towards our neck of the woods. So. Predictor, we're just going to roll this on through and you will see this increase in intensity five, six, seven, eight o'clock stopping the clock on this one. You're going to have a bit of the wind component still out there, at least a little bit more so than what we're experiencing right now. A few rumbles of thunder possible. The energy is there uh, in a little bit, at least uh, you can see here by three in the morning. We've been still trying to get some of these generated and how isolated we can get these and really just the running theme through the early part of your Thursday. So you're most likely going to need the windshield wipers for the evening commute tonight and the morning commute tomorrow. Maybe not so much the evening commute. You can see this five, six, seven o'clock in the evening. We're already just back in sort of sprinkle territory. This is the one we're keeping a close eye on for the first half of the weekend. You get this uh, front swinging on by. There's a very, very low chance. That's what we've been talking about all week of those wet flakes mixing in after the fact. But you're looking at an additional inch of rain on top of the inch or so that we're expecting in the next 24 hours at times. But the winds, a lot of these models going between 40 to 50 miles an hour, some going even higher than that. So again, watch this space for future developments for today. Meanwhile, 53 for the high here that rain more likely in the evening. A few rumbles of thunder possible. That is the running theme through the rest of the night too. low of 50. Not much difference between the high and low on this one. The cloud cover really acting as a blanket there. Winds from the southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour. Could get a little bit gustier, I suppose, in some of these storms. But you start out the day tomorrow around 55, and then you fall down because you have that front coming through. So don't let the numbers fool you. It's going to be in the 40s by sunset here as we continue to have that rain through the first half, at least, of the day. In your first alert extended forecast, 42 on Friday. Dry, mind you, but it's a little bit of a downturn. It's the coolest day of the next several and then Saturday windy 55 you know even with a warmer temperature it's not going to feel too pleasant you won't be able to deploy the umbrella out there it's just going to turn inside out based on our current <laughs> wind forecast but Sunday that is a marked improvement same temperature but we get rid of the rain and at least most of the wind all right thank you so much Dan well tonight we invite you to join us for a half hour special